Hey guys, Kyle here, Collecting America's Pastime. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday so far. Um, I big big college football day. Red River rivalry is on right now. Oklahoma Texas, uh, some bad blood pregame, um, which that that should make this game even even more interesting. Um, you have LSU Florida tonight, which should be good. Um, I'm a big Akron Zips fan. Uh, we play our rival Kent State um, today. So that, you know, both teams suck, but it should be a good game, um, at least hopefully. And so, yeah, I, I just want to do a quick video. Um, I have a random mail day here, as you can see on the screen. Um, this is a 1933 uh, Worldwide Gum. Uh, it's the Jungle Set. Uh, it's the Bald Eagle. For those of you who don't know, I'm very patriotic. Um, for those of you who do know, there's a reminder. Um, so I got tagged in this on Facebook, and it was being offered for like a couple bucks. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. Um, what really sold me here is the bottom sentence down here. The likeness of this bird appears on various United States coins and is frequently used to depict the spirit of freedom of the United States. So once I saw that, I said, here, take my money. So um, it'll go with my like 19, I think it's 1900, 1901 uh, British tobacco um, uh, America baseball card, um, kind of continue the patriotic theme of my collection. So um, and then the other thing I wanted to do real quick was a quick uh, update on my uh, project. So um, I did a video on this. Here's my second video, which was 28 minutes long. So I don't blame you if you didn't make it that far. Um, but the... Back when I did that, it was last last fall, so it, whatever, I started making videos, I think it was October, early October. Um, I had 23, um, sorry about that, I had 23 of the uh, 77 uh, uh, Hall of Fame classes done, and as you'll see in the top left here, there are 78 classes now, and I have 31 complete. So I was at 29.87% before. I'm at 39.74% currently. Um, and I've, I've put a good dent in a lot of these classes that I don't have complete yet. Like some of the some of the classes um, are huge, and some of them um, just have pretty impossible players. Um, not impossible, but not where I'm at collecting-wise currently. Uh, you know, where like Jesse Burkett... One of his only examples you can get is a, a T204 Ramley. Um, and I think minimum that thing will run a couple grand. So not quite there yet, um, at least on, on his focus. Plus, that they, they come up very rarely. So, um, But then you have uh, the, the year for the class there. I'll kind of do like a little recap as I go here um, of what the spreadsheet is all about. Um, their primary position, their primary team, their career, um, and then who it is. If I have them, um, which card I have or which card I want to acquire of them, um, total spent, and then uh, uh, the total up here. So um, I, I misspoke the other day. So this uh, this total number here, it says 329 next to it. Um, that was originally 323. I erred in the, the, well, the formula erred and didn't automatically calculate the new class um, or whatever. So... I had to go back and manually update that. So I do not have 99 Hall of Famers left. I actually have 105. So now I really want to go out and buy, uh, uh, you know, f five or um, six more just to get to 100 or less than 100 left. But um, and then as you can see here, uh, kind of who I have and um, which card I have of them. Um, a lot of the ones I have left fall into the. 20s caramel and 30s uh, Gaudi or, or play ball, um, 39 or 40 play ball. Um, so I'm getting pretty close to being down to the Negro League players, the um, the 19th century, and then the like the impossible guys. Not not you know nothing's impossible, but the guys that just come up super rare, and when they do come up. Um, It'll cost me uh, an arm and a leg, um, and possibly a kidney, uh, to 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 get them. So, um, but I'll probably end up buying like next year. I think I'm gonna have on my list uh, the 19 or 19th century card. Um, 
I, I need to acquire one of those just because I think they're so cool. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is for the Gaudis and um, maybe caramel. caramel. Caramels don't come in lots very much, but Gaudis kind of do. So any any Hall of Famers that will come in Gaudi, I might try to buy them in a lot to keep the cost down. Typically when you buy in a lot, um, you know, it's a little bit a little bit easier. Um, like th so another another thing is is like this nineteen, this uh, William Herbert here. You'll see him in the middle of the screen, um, here and here. Uh, the nineteen ninety four Origins of Baseball. I has, I still have cards like very few, but I still have cards like that that I need that are. I just haven't been able to find one, um, but they're not very expensive whatsoever. So that'll help kind of take it down. Um, and like these 78 Laughlin's for Ben Taylor and Saul White, um, those will be not easy, but they're not super expensive either. And then as you get into the modern, obviously I have most of these. Um, this John Schuerholz, uh 80s Kansas City photo card is super hard to, to find. I, I've yet to be able to find one. Um, so, but yeah, that's the spreadsheet. That's the update. So I went from last, last fall when I, uh, when I did this, I had 323, or I'm sorry, 183 of the 323. I am now at 224 of the 329, so I've added quite a few. And then, like I said, I was at uh, um, uh, 23 of the 77 classes, um, and now I'm at uh, 31 of the 78. So... Um, pretty cool stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, uh, and, you know, keep, keep collecting. And, uh, if, if you do have a 1994 Origins of Baseball, William Holbert, you have my, uh, contact, contact information. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.